Hello everyone, I am Kayla, the maker and creator behind Crochet by Kayla, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little recap of how all of my markets in 2023 went. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little like, not like a full rundown of exactly how everything went at each individual market just because I already do have recaps on all of those markets. But I'm gonna give like a little like, little synopsis and then I will tell you guys what my best sellers were averagely at all of them combined. And then that is mostly gonna consist of like my items I have at each one. Like I have my staple items that go to each market with me. And then I will kind of give a rundown on what's my average on what I made. It's all the markets combined, my average. Average amount of items sold at each, you know, all the um very, like, statistical stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun video. So, let's get to it. So, as a little first thing, this year I did three markets. Which for me was fantastic because I am a, like obviously a full-time student and I do other activities outside of school and doing this business. So for me, that is probably as many markets as I can make happen a year. Maybe I can make four happen, but before this, this is my third year of doing markets and before this, I'd only done one the other two years so it was a very big jump going from one market to three but i'm very happy i did make that jump because i think now three is going to be the perfect balance for me and so let's get started with the first market my first market was in april it was a spring market and i'm gonna go ahead right here and insert a video of my table setup and how it looks so then I can give you what my best sellers were from that market. So let's go. Okay, so that is what my setup looked like. It was my first time ever doing a market by myself because previously before that I had only done on the market that I will be telling you about later it's the market that i just did most recently i'm um, so i'm going in chronological order of the year um i share that um market with my aunt so we each have our own half of the tent so it was awesome being able to set up the booth like entirely like just like all of my stuff and it was really cool it was very very spacious so that was really cool. So to start off, I brought, I always bring seasonal items and then I have my staple items. So for this market as a little overview, I brought 95 items, which is the least amount of items I brought to a market this year. I sold 58 of them and I brought 35 of them home. That is a total of 61% of my items sold. And when I was there, I got one custom order, which is included in my um, items sold, I believe I included in here when I originally wrote down all the... um information back in April. So I had a total of four items sell out, those being chicks and bunnies and bees. I had 12 bees. I had six chicks and eight bunnies. And then I brought three scrunchies and I sold all three of those scrunchies. So I had four items sell out out of Sixteen different types of items I brought. So 
4 out of 16, which isn't terrible. It was a very good market, and it was my first time ever doing this event, and I came back again in October, so it was good enough to do that. It was a really fun market, and now I'm going to move to the one in October. Okay, and then for my one in October, I had so many items completely sell out compared to any other market I've done before. It's my best market. It was the best market that I had ever done so far. So I'm excited to see if I can beat it in 2024. So quick overview again, I brought 114 items. I sold 81 and I brought 33 home. That is a total of 71% of my items being sold, which 61% compared to 71 is very, well, 10% up, so, which is very good. And it was a lot more items. And I brought, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven categories of items sell out. And I brought a total of 18 different items. So I'd say that is also very, very good. So what sold out was Ghost. I sold out and I had six of those. I had Mermaid sell out. I had six of those as well. 10 bees, they all sold. I had 12 frogs, they all sold four turtles they all sold and two big purses and they both sold so uh, that was my most successful market yeah it was really fun and it was great and now on to my last one okay so my next one my last one of the year also is the same one i had done previously in the past two years before this year and here is what my setup looks like So once again, as I mentioned before, this is the one that I share a booth with my aunt. So you only kind of see one half of the booth in the video. So as another overview of this, I brought 123 items, which is the most items I brought to a craft show. I sold 72 of these items and I brought 51 home. 58% of those items sell sold, but I did sell a lot of items after the actual event I um, had some friends get by them so that was 58% of my items sold at that one which is my worst percentage wise from items from an item standpoint I had four um, items completely sell out those being penguins that were priced at $12, bees at 10. I brought, sorry, I brought eight penguins and I brought 10 bees with me. They were priced at 15. And then I sold eight strawberries. I sold all of them and they were all $8 a piece. Six turtles from $20 a piece. And I brought Nineteen different items. Obviously, it's more than nineteen items, but nineteen different types of items and multiples of each of those types of items. You get the point. So now I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you a little overview of all of them combined and where they each ranked for me. Okay, so from an amount of money I made from each standpoint. The one that ranked first place was my second market of the year, my October market. And then third place for a money standpoint was my November market, the one that I just did, Great Day in the Country. 
and then last from a money standpoint which is like very close together there's about a little less than thirty dollars in between um second and third place from a money standpoint and that was my first market of the year my spring market in april and then from the percentage amount of items sold at each my second market of the year my october market just like it did with the amount of money i made it ranks first in the amount of items i've sold well percentage wise at least i did these all percentage wise because obviously i did not had the same amount of items at each show and then second place from a amount of items sold standpoint is my first market of the year my spring market with 61 percent of items sold and then in last place for amount of items sold percentage wise was my november market with 58 percent of my items sold there's quite a gap between my first place and second place for that but as you can tell, my October market went the best and I'm really excited and hoping to be able to beat that. So I know I usually do not give how much I made at each market just because I don't really want everyone on the internet knowing how much I made at each market, but I am going to give you the average amount of money I made at each market. So I added up all of my totals, which are very, my October market had a very different total from my other two markets and I added them all up divided by three to get my average and I averaged at each market altogether was about a thousand and twenty three dollars which is very good and usually I bring about a thousand five hundred two thousand seven hundred amount like all added up together like the amount of items like if i sold everything at my booth this is how much it would cost that I've, that number usually ranges about in that area so and that is pretty good so about half of my total amount altogether i don't know where i'm going i kind of lost my train of thought in the middle of saying that if you can't tell and then altogether, my average amount of items sold at each market was 70. So once again, I added up all the amount of items I sold, divided it by three, and I got to 70. So it was very, all of these together were so successful. And I will definitely be doing all of these three exact same markets again in 2024. So I will be doing the spring market again the same um fall market again and then great day in the country which i always do and that will be my fourth year doing it then next year and next year will also be my will be my second year of doing the one i did in spring and fall i would love to add in another market in between there but we will just see how that goes i'm very excited to see if my amount of items sold and how much profit I make ramps up a lot next year and averagely if you see like my seasonal items always sell best so I sold all of my spring related stuff spring well not just seasonal seasonal related plushies specifically because I sold all my penguins and i sold all of my um i'm trying to find it on my list candy corns and ghosts and the chicks and bunnies averagely i always sell out of my seasonal plushies so i do recommend do seasonal seasonal plushies and i out of two of the three markets sold out of mermaids i think that's correct oh sorry uh, one of the markets I sold mermaids, and then the other two I was one mermaid away from selling out. So, I definitely say, like, mermaids, and I sold out of these at all three markets. And at all three markets, I was also very close to selling out of whales. 
So I definitely say whales. And I only had turtles at two of these three markets. And I sold a lot of turtles at both of those two markets. So I'd say those are my top recommended things to do for markets. If anyone is interested in doing markets or does markets, I would like to get some of their own best sellers. But I will see you all next time. And I think my next video will probably end up being a tutorial because I have not done a tutorial in quite some time or possibly a vlog because winter break is right around the corner so I can make my vlogs more interesting. All right, I'll see you all later. Make sure to check out the link in my bio to find all my social medias and bye.